so this is a pretty good look at what the wig looks like just straight out of the gate of course this is from a company called Tanashi Hair or Tanash Hair not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct but all the details will be listed in the description box below I'm going to be adding some dark roots to this you guys have probably seen about two or three 613 units from me so you've learned how to pretty much tone it but now we're going to show how to kind of just bleed out uh, the color and kind of get back to the roots <laughs> so for the color what I'm going to be using is the dark and lovely um, this is in the fade resistant and it is golden blue bronze so here's this color it's more of a golden shade and then I also have the Clairol natural instincts and this is uh, in the lightest golden brown so to be honest you can use either brand no big deal I bought this Clairol one and completely forgot that I had the soft sheen so honestly the colors are really really similar I'm gonna go with the color that is a little bit more on the ashy side so it's actually the Clairol which is the lightest golden brown so I'm gonna be using this one today so obviously just opening this up, it does come with um, a color treat conditioner, which I probably won't end up using. <laughs> and then of course like detail instructions here. And then the color itself along with a developer. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these two together and then pour this inside of my mixing bowl and then we'll get started. shake this up in the bottle until you cannot shake anymore <laughs> and you'll notice how it kind of has a red tint to it so keep that in mind uh, when you look at your base colors I'm going for something that's a little bit darker than my skin tone just so it kind of bleeds out really nicely and really well all right so once you pretty much have this mixed up I do have a mixing bowl here I'm literally gonna pour everything into this just to make it a little bit easier to just kind of maneuver through the hair and as you guys can see, as this has started to activate, it's already that brownish color that I'm going for. So I definitely know this is the right pick. All right, so we're going to be starting from the back of this unit just to go ahead and start to bleed this out. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing this. I'm literally just going to start from the base of the unit going all the way around. Then we'll start to kind of part up um, all the way throughout the unit. So I'm going to be taking a toothbrush to actually do this just so that we can lightly apply the products and kind of like evenly spread it out as well and you use the brush to kind of just bleed the color upward it doesn't have to be like super intense or anything like that So you don't really have to go overboard but in this case I'm probably going about a half an inch to an inch up the actual base of the wig and I'm gonna skip the frontal part because I'm gonna do that completely separate so don't pressure you know no pressure there on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording.
I went ahead and just sectioned off the frontal part of this and then of course I still have the remaining area that just has like tracks and things like that. So I'm going to continue this entire process all the way up until I get to this point to kind of show you a little bit more detail. But I am alternating now so I'm putting the color not only at the edges here but also going upward as well. And you can see here where I kind of dragged down the color a little bit more than I intended to. So I'm going to be shortening that up towards the top as well. extremely careful just because obviously it's transparent and it will actually stain the lace so you want to be really really careful and precise for exactly where it is that you put the color so take your time go extremely slow do not try to rush this process and be sure that your gloves are clean each time that you touch the hair so I do have like a towel nearby me that way you're not staining the blonde hair as well Okay, so I'm going to be starting off from the front and you guys can see it already kind of just applied a little bit of this. I literally have the smallest amount of color on this brush and I'm starting kind of backward just to make sure that I don't apply too much product, too heavy. And I'm bleeding it kind of sporadically. You can go as far out as you need to, as close up as you need to. But on the sides, I did want it to kind of fade out just a little bit more, so... This is to your discretion though. And the brush here just kind of literally graces everything 
very, very lightly. And then you go through with the comb, comb that out. There you go. And then you just want to section this off piece by piece and pretty much do the same thing, barely touching it. And then I'll be washing this with my, um, I think it's like a purple shimmer lights conditioner. And that's fine.